Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I've designed a game out here which uh, makes uh, the best use of uh, hit test object and hit test point. Um, I, I couldn't find a better example than this one. In fact before I, I talk at all let me first show you a published review by hitting control enter on my keyboard and exporting the swift uh, testing the movie. Okay, I'll run straight away what happens the mongoose uh, you know jumps all over the stage trying to uh, catch hold of the snake uh, and people notice as as soon as the mongoose uh, you know comes in contact with the snake uh, the alpha of the snake actually changes but the snake then tries to uh, you know kiss the center uh, come over the center because in doing that the alpha is reset back to uh, one okay which is the original alpha of the but you see uh, as and when the uh, the mongoose comes in contact with the snake which I'm trying to avoid uh, the alpha reduces and just in case the alpha falls below a certain uh, specific preset value the game is actually over okay so the the whole purpose of this game is to teach you how the um, you know, hit test point and hit test object actually work. So one must avoid the uh, you know the mongoose hitting the snake because that reduces the alpha. But I must try and uh, take the snake to the center of the stage because uh, then the alpha is actually reset because I'm I'm using the uh, you know hit test point to regain the alpha. So that's all that this game is about. Now deliberately, people, I'm going to leave the you know the mouse sorry the, the the snake where it is and you see the alpha has actually fallen below a certain value that's defined in the action script and uh, the game comes to an end you see um, in the output panel we can actually see the different alphas that have been traced and here in the end it says uh, game lost okay so you see the alpha changing all uh, along as the game was being played okay so um, let's first look at the timeline and then we'll, we'll go inside the actions panel and understand the actions for people so we have a dot a center dot it's a, it's a movie clip but does not have an instance name is there just to you know just to tell us that yes this is the center of the stage okay that's all that it is uh, right that dot in the center okay then we have a, a movie clip uh, which has an instance name mongoose it's actually uh, a mongoose and people when we talk about uh, the collision methods in flash and there are two of them we have the hit test object and the hit test point with the hit test object uh, we don't actually check the body colliding but we check the bounding box colliding right so the bounding box is actually this blue colored rectangle and when I say the body is actually the body of the mongoose you can call it the outline of the mongoose okay but when the collision test happens uh, it keeps you know into consideration the bounding box and not the actual um, body of the mongoose or the body of the snake all right so you see although the snake and the sh you know the shadow around it is a lot smaller or the shade around it is a lot smaller but the bounding box is a big rectangle so strictly speaking uh, though there is no collision out here but since the bounding boxes are colliding we'll, we'll say yes to the uh, you know the collision test of the objects the two objects the snake and the mongoose will be in the positive if I were to check it now right uh, similarly uh, when it comes to the hit test point let's let's consider this example uh, what if we want to check if the the uh, you know the the snake is actually colliding with the point the center of the stage the stage is actually 800 by 600 pixels people and uh, what if I wanted to check if the snake is actually colliding with the um, um, you know this center point of the stage so there are two methods and we can check if the you know the actual body of the snake is colliding or if the bounding box is colliding so yes there is a variation out there but when it comes to the collision test for the objects there is no such method so we check only the bounding box collision so 
So uh, I think things will become much more clear if I uh, open up the actions panel, show you the action script. So let me open up the actions panel for you. Pretty short script, people. Um, in, in the first four lines, I've imported the requisite classes. Okay, and uh, in line number six, I've declared a variable uh, timer. So basically, creating a new instance of the timer class. I'm starting the timer, a one second timer. This is the delay one second and uh, I'm adding an event listener to the timer and I would want a function called run to fire every time uh, one second elapses okay so uh, let's let's look at the function run I'm using the tween class people I've declared a variable mongoose tween x uh, data type it to tween and made it equal to a new tween now this tutorial like most of my tutorials isn't a very basic one so um, it, I assume that you at least know how to use the tween class. If you do not, then I would suggest that uh, you can terminate this tutorial, uh, tutorial right here. Maybe uh, check out what exactly is uh, the tween class, how it actually functions. You must understand this powerful class in Flash. Okay, but for people who are aware of the tween class, who have followed me or followed, uh, or actually are aware of the tween class, uh, they should uh, stay stay on with me now. And so basically, I'm, I'm creating a new instance of the tween class, and this is the format people. The first argument is the object, which is actually the movie clip mongoose. We are tweening the x property. The ease that we are using is the, is the strong dot ease out. Uh, and I am this is the starting point people, this is the ending point. So I'm saying from the original position of the mongoose, the x position of the mongoose, so um, I would want it to go to a different exposition that's decided by math dot random into the width of the stage which is actually 800 pixels since I'm aware I'm putting that value 800 out there the stage is 800 by 600 so I'm saying wherever the you know the mongoose is along the x-axis I would want it to tween to a new position which is decided by math dot random into 800 over one seconds okay one two means over one seconds Similarly, I'm tweening the uh, mongoose along the y-axis, okay, so uh, creating a, a new variable mongoose tween y, data typing it to tween, making it equal to a new tween, the format is just the same, the name of the movie clip, the property that you're tweening, the ease that you're applying, uh, from where, basically the starting point, the y position of the mongoose so along the y axis where is the mongoose right now and uh, where I would want it to go so the newer position the new position along the y axis since the height of the stage is 600 so I'm saying math.random into 600 so you see what these two lines <laughs> of action script 3 will do uh, will take the mongoose uh, to a newer x and y every one single second because uh, the function run happens whenever uh, one second or 1000 milliseconds actually elapse so it goes to a newer position every time so it's the mongoose is jumping all over the stage to seek the snake on the stage right I'm adding an event listener um, I'm creating an enter frame event people and uh, you, you add it to the stage or you don't add it to anything at all so this you know the enter frame events fire uh, immediately um, as soon as the frame is entered basically they don't need a trigger they fire immediately and they fire at FPS the default of you know flash FPS is 24 frames per second so a function called eat the snake fires immediately and it works 24 times in one single second and let's understand the function eat the snake so it checks if the you know this the alpha of the snake has uh, gone below 50 percent that's 0.5 uh, I would want the timer to stop so the jumping around the mongoose actually stops a message which says uh, trace game lost is displayed and we remove the event listener the enter frame uh, event is then removed so uh, but then this this value 0.5 is something that you can uh, you know change if you want a stringent uh, standards a stricter game then you can take this to a higher value if you're just practicing you can just you know lower this value down okay 
uh, so we used an if condition out here but why am I checking the alpha first of all of the the movie clip snake I'm checking it because uh, if the mongoose through the hit test object method hits the snake so this is the syntax people uh, I would want the alpha of the snake to reduce by 0 0.025 and since it is inside uh, an enter frame event this will happen 24 uh, times in one single second so as long as the collision of the objects the mongoose and the snake is there the alpha you know drastically um, goes down uh, by 0 0.025 uh, 24 times in one single second so just in case there's a collision people make sure that you pull the uh, snake away from the mongoose right here I'm just tracing the uh, alpha of the snake else if so another if condition uh, the snake through the hit test point now the hit test point is separate from the hit test object hits the center of the stage so x400 uh, y300 is, is the center of the stage because the stage is 800 uh, in width and 600 uh, pixels in height and when I say true basically I'm saying I am I'm not looking at the bounding box uh, hitting the center of the stage but I'm actually looking at the body of the um, snake hitting the center of the stage so people uh, this blue area is the bounding box so the bounding box is actually uh, you know hitting the center of the stage but that is not what I'm looking at I'm actually looking at this the real body of the snake uh, now it's actually look you know hitting the center of the stage so it is the we, we say the outline is actually crashing with the center of the stage that is why this true this is what this true does out there let me just open up the actions panel once again people okay this is what this true if I turn it to false I'm actually checking if the bounding box of the snake that you know the bluish uh, area around the snake is touching the uh, center of the stage which is 400 300 but when I set it to true I'm not looking at the bounding box touching the center of the stage but actually the body of the snake with that shadow all around uh, the object basically uh, not the bounding box touching the center of the stage and if it is I would want the alpha of the stage to be reset to 1 so when the uh, mongoose and the snakes collide the alpha will go down 24 times in one single second by uh, 0 0.025 because I'm, I'm clearly stating out here snake dot alpha minus is equal to 0 0.025 so as long as they are in contact uh, it's gonna you know z zoom down um, by uh, 0 0.025 uh, 24 times in one single second because this if conditional is contained inside an, an enter frame event which fire at FPS and FPS is 24 so make sure if there is a contact pull the uh, snake away from the mongoose alright and uh, but you know when the snake actually kisses the the center point and which we are actually checking through the hit test point method uh, I would want the snake alpha to be reset that will try and save your neck or basically try and uh, you know give the snake some life because the mongo is, tr is, is actually trying to reduce the alpha or, or in other words eat the snake right or kill the snake call it whatever you want it okay here I'm actually tracing the alpha of the uh, you know the snake so the purpose of this game people is that make sure that the the alpha of the snake does not go below 50 percent or 0.5 should not go less than 0.5 so um, here people in line number uh, 22 I'm using the uh, you know star drag method so onto the stage I've added an event listener so whenever there's a movement of the mouse over the stage a big and drag method uh, fires uh, where the snake through the star drag method is uh, dragged all over the stage but we make sure that it stays within the 800 width and 600 height of the stage so using the rectangle class people I can define the boundary and 0 0 is the x and y so starting x and y 0 0 uh, and this is the you know the width and the height so width 800 height 600 in in simple words I I want to drag the snake through the uh, star drag method but uh, I also want to ensure that uh, I cannot drag it beyond the bounds of the stage right and uh, the uh, you know the dragging should happen when the mouse actually moves over the stage so 
that's the trigger mouse move over the stage right and people have a look out here the registration point for the symbol or the movie clip snake is center for the mongoose is also center okay this dot in the center is a though is a movie clip has no other purpose but just to let us know that this is the center of the stage so when i use the hit test point method uh, to get the alpha of the snake back i know this is the reference point all right so people what i'm going to do is let me first hit the output tab and hit control enter and uh, play the game once again okay so people as you can see as i move the mouse all over the uh, you know the stage uh, i'm trying to save the snake from crashing into the mongoose because that's going to take the alpha down and if the alpha you know goes down below 50 percent i am going to lose the game but uh, you see it's already crashed and the, you can see the alpha in the output panel has actually gone down to as low as uh, 0.6 but then i just you know kiss the center so that i can get the alpha back to one so <laughs> you see it's it's a uh, it's a fun game all right uh, the main purpose was not to make a game people the main purpose was just to teach you two very important methods to test the collision in flash and action script 3 uh, being hit test point in hit test object all right so uh, let me sum it up once again when we test the hit test objects in in our example the objects are the movie clip snake and mongoose we are actually looking at the collision of the bounding box which is this uh, blue uh, which is defined by the area within the blue border okay that's the bounding box um, but when we check uh, you know if an object is actually colliding with the point we have a true and a false argument through which we can check if it's actually the bounding box or the actual body of the object that's actually colliding with the specific point right if you set that argument to true then we are looking at the actual body of the uh, snake or the mongoose and not the area which is defined by the blue colored thin line out here which is actually called the bounding box right so people i hope um, i've, I've um, communicated uh, how the hit test point and hit test uh, object collision methods in flash work how they can be checked through this uh, small fun game all right so people i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you'll keep coming back for more you have a good day bye bye peace